everyone, my name is Suman Dua. I'm a registered migration agent at Nationwide Migration and Education. We make weekly videos regarding Australian migration and if you are interested in this topic, you may wish to subscribe to our channel. Today's video will discuss South Australia's nomination criteria for both their visa subclasses 190 and 491 for the 2023-24 financial year. South Australia has moved to a registration of interest process to manage strong demand from potential applicants living and working in the state against a limited allocation of nomination places. This means potential applicants must submit a ROI and be invited to apply for state nomination by South Australia. Potential applicants cannot apply for state nomination directly. Under this invitation process, South Australia will prioritize the retention of South Australia's international graduates and temporary visa holders. Experienced overseas workers with skills in high demand in South Australia, such as trades and construction, defense, health, education, natural and physical science, and social and welfare professionals will be targeted through invitations to apply for South Australian nomination. South Australia is also seeking highly skilled overseas workers who can make a strong contribution to the state's fast-growing industries and projects of national priority. This includes people with experience working in the defence industry and or highly specialised skills in the digital and critical technologies sectors. International graduates and other temporary visa holders continue to be considered across a broad list of occupations consistent with previous years, while there are over 290 occupations open to offshore skilled workers. South Australia has received 1,100 places for the 190 visa nomination and 1,200 places for the 491 visa nomination. Now, South Australia has four nomination streams for this financial year for skilled migrants seeking to live and work in South Australia. So these streams are South Australian graduates. The second one is working in South Australia. The third stream is highly skilled and talented. And the fourth stream is offshore applicants. Now in this video, we will be covering two nomination streams, which are South Australian graduates and working in South Australia. And we will be making a separate video for highly skilled and talented and offshore streams. Now to be eligible for South Australia's nomination, you must meet the Australian Department of Home Affairs and South Australia's criteria for your chosen visa category. Now let's first look at the criteria from Department of Home Affairs. So this criteria is that you must have a points test result of 65 or higher inclusive of state nomination points. You must have a positive skills assessment in your nominated occupation. You must be under 45 years of age. You need to meet the minimum English language requirement of competent unless your assessing authority requires a higher level. Now let's look at the first nomination stream, which is the South Australian graduates. So once you have met the requirements from Department of Home Affairs, you will have to meet the requirements for the South Australian graduates. If you are an international graduate who has studied in South Australia, you may be eligible for state nomination as a skilled migrant faster than other candidates. Now, to be eligible under the South Australian graduate stream, you must check if your nominated occupation is eligible under the South Australian's graduate stream on South Australia's skilled occupation list. You must be currently living and working in South Australia. You must have completed your qualification at a South Australian education provider and meet the following study requirements. These requirements are that your course in South Australia must be Tri-course registered with a minimum of 46 tri-course weeks. Your study meets the minimum qualification level listed for your nominated occupation on the skilled occupation list. A minimum of 50% of your qualification must have been completed in South Australia. You must have resided in South Australia for at least one year during your studies and have been residing in South Australia for at least the last 12 months, have been working for the last six months and be currently employed in a full time, which is 30 hours per week job. Your job must be related and at the same skill level as your nominated occupation. Now for South Australian nomination, this is generally defined as being in the same ANSCO sub-major group uh, represented by the first two digits of the ANSCO code. And you must have undertaken your skilled work experience post course completion. So now I would like to show you some examples. So first, let's look at chef. So if you're a South Australian graduate, you must have completed a commercial cookery qualification in South Australia 
that meets the South Australian study requirements. So which means you must have completed this study for a minimum of 12 months in South Australia. And eligible South Australian graduates working full-time in South Australia and in employment closely related to their nominated occupation are able to register their South Australian nomination. Now let's look at one more example, which is accountant. So for accountants, and if you are a South Australian graduate, you must have completed a minimum bachelor qualification in South Australia that meets the South Australian study requirements. As one more example, you can see ICT project manager. You must have completed a minimum bachelor qualification in South Australia that meets the South Australian study requirements. The next stream is working in South Australia. If you are a skilled migrant currently living in South Australia and working in your nominated occupation, you may be eligible for state nomination through this pathway. Candidates may include temporary visa holders, international graduates, self-employed applicants and subcontractors. Now, to be eligible under the Working in South Australia stream, you must check if your nominated occupation is eligible under the Working in South Australia stream on South Australia's skilled occupation list, currently live and work in South Australia, have been residing in South Australia for at least the last 12 months, have been working for the last six months and be currently employed in a full time, which is at least 30 hours per week job. Your job must be related to and at the same skill level as your nominated occupation. For South Australian nomination, this is generally defined as being in the same ANSCO sub-major group represented by the first two digits of the ANSCO code. You must have undertaken your skilled work experience post-course completion. Now, invitations to apply for South Australian nomination will be sent on an ongoing basis throughout 2023-24. Meeting the eligibility guidelines published does not guarantee that your ROI will be invited to apply for nomination. The Australian government provides South Australia with a quota of nomination places each year, limiting the number of applicants that can be nominated. South Australia will consider a range of factors when determining who is invited to apply for nomination to ensure candidates are suitably prioritized. Now, these factors include, but are not limited to, holding a temporary visa, which will expire before 31st August 2024. If you hold a temporary graduate visa subclass 485, you may be eligible to extend your visa through various streams available under this visa. Please refer to the Department of Home Affairs website to explore the option to extend your temporary graduate visa before you submit a ROI application. Other reasons could be turning 45 years of age before 31st August 2024, period of skilled employment experience in South Australia, types of skilled employment in South Australia. South Australia will prioritize applicants working in South Australia in a priority sector such as health and medical sciences, trades and construction, early childhood and teaching, digital technology, food and agribusiness, creative industries, tourism and hospitality and resources energy. We will be making a separate video regarding the two remaining nomination streams, which are highly skilled and talented and offshore stream. If you have any questions regarding your visa options, please book a consultation through the link in the description below. If you have any questions in regards to Australian migration, please get in touch with us. You can visit our website nationwidemigration.com.au and book a consultation online. If you would like to stay updated about Australian migration, please subscribe to our channel.